Well, thank you, Maddie, for having me. I'm excited to share my um, experience with the Zen Cleanse. So I recently uh, came across uh, Zen Cleanse. Actually, one of my uh, good friends recommended it. I've been a, uh, a fasting coach for quite some time, five years, and I've done so many fasts before. But I always felt like there's something missing. Like I would fast, I felt good, but then I would go back when I finished and started eating food, I went back to just not feeling so great. And when I discovered the Zen cleanse and actually did, I actually did the liver and um, the intestine cleanse. That was my first one that I started with uh, or rainbow cleanse. It, it was just on another level. And again, I've done like hundreds of fasts. One of the longest was a seven or 10 day fast. And I did not feel like, like the lightness of it, you know, and I think that's where we as fasting people, we make that mistake of, you know, we fast, but we don't have the open pathways of elimination. And like, you know, if your liver is not fun functioning well, or your intestines are backed up with just junk from, from years of years, you're not really eliminating the toxins uh, accordingly. So it was uh, very interesting to see the difference, how I felt when I actually did the the intestine and liver cleanse. And it was kind of mind blowing actually. <laughs> so, yeah. Did you do them like back to back? Did you do the intestinal cleanse and then jump right into the yeah. liver cleanse? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was a seven day uh, cleanse. So I started with the intestine, um, intestinal cleanse and then went right into the liver cleanse. and. I work in the medical field. I'm an advanced practice nurse. So, you know, we do surgeries for gallbladder removal all the time. And when I noticed how many gallstones came out of me, I was like, what the actual, so I'm going to do another one here, probably in another month. Um, because I want to, there were so many, so I'm sure there's more. And that's what happens over years. Those gallstones kind of, st they get stuck in there and we don't eliminate them like we're supposed to. And that's when you get, you know, your gallbladder inflamed and overwork and all that stuff. So yeah, it was, it was, it was kind of shocking. I was, I was surprised to see how many gallstones came out and other stuff too. Yeah, definitely. Um, so actually, I ended up doing this cleanse with three of my other clients that jumped on it. And we all did the same cleanse. So it was kind of nice to have a support group. Um, and they had the same experience. Like we, I felt horrible for the first three days. And that kind of tells you how much toxin buildup is in your body. Um, I mean, I and it wasn't because I wasn't eating, you know, I felt like the enzymes kept me really full. So it didn't feel like the typical like water fast when you are like the second day, you're so hungry, like, I felt super full. But I could tell my body was like, working really hard to get stuff out. Um, and I mean, just the bloatiness, I felt so bloated. It was it was kind of crazy. And then suddenly day four, it was like, like, I just felt amazing. The energy, uh, it, it was like my brain fog was gone. It was quite amazing. And then um, when I finished on day seven, uh, started kind of introducing food really slowly. And I had no cravings for the junk, like carbs. Um, it was just like, I, I just felt like my palate was clean, cleaned out and my body just, just felt good internally. And same thing with my, my three other clients, they have pretty similar experience. Uh, a couple of them had a longer, it, the kind of crappy face was a little bit longer for them. Um, but then when they finished, they were like, oh my gosh, like I didn't realize how bad I felt to like clean myself out and realize how good I can feel and they're both actually doing another cleanse here like this week because of the goals how much gallstones they had in there and how much junk because you could still tell there's still a lot of stuff like one cleanse is not gonna get rid of all the you know years of buildup you know whether you're 20 30 years old like that is a lot of time of not only toxins but buildup or 
you know, whatever else in your liver. And I always felt like my liver was kind of sluggish, you know, and you can kind of feel that like heaviness in that area. And when I finished, it was like, I mean, I cannot wait to do another one. I'm actually doing the lung cleanse right now um, because I was diagnosed with asthma three years ago. Just randomly, I was in Africa and the pollution was so bad when I was there during that time working that I came back and I was just sick. Like I had bronchitis. They couldn't figure out what was going on. And then they diagnosed me with asthma just out of the blue. So I'm hoping that the the long cleans is 30 days right i believe i'm hoping that that will kind of help loosen up whatever is going in there because i truly don't think that it's it's asthma i think it's just injury from from the pollution and maybe some toxins stuck in my lungs i have no idea but i'm gonna do that and then i'm doing the other two cleanses i'm doing the lymphatic uh, blood and then the kidney cleanse so i'm going all for it and then i'm going to repeat the liver and uh, intestinal cleanse again i have i mean it's been truly enlightening um i again like knowing what you feel like when you get get done with the cleanse versus before even with all the fast the water fast that i did it's it's just like you have to experience it to really feel what it feels like I can say like oh I felt lighter and just like more energetic and just happier like you know your dopamine receptors I don't know probably resets that as well because you know the gut and brain connection is so strong and I, I truly believe in that and you know your intestinal system hosts, hosts about 70 percent of your immunity if not more and, you know, we've all done antibiotics. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know a single person that haven't taken at least a dose of antibiotics that destroy the good and the bad bacteria. And what I love about the intestinal cleanse, too, is that it repopulates the good bacteria. So not only with, you know, you, you're eating the plant enzymes to help to clean out the terrain, but you're also repopulating the, the good bacteria and providing the right environment for for the good bacteria to thrive. And, you know, also recently I heard about, I, I, I have had some parasite issues as well from eating a lot of raw food, like sushi and stuff. And that was another thing that I heard a practitioner talk about, you know, you can take these like parasite killer, you know, uh, stuff to kill the parasites, but if you don't provide uh, or clean out the terrain, the food that the parasites eat, like they're going to, go back in again because they lay their eggs I know it's so gross when you think about it but that was another reason why I did it Absolutely. and and that's a good point is really getting in tune with your body and intuitively listening to your body you know sometimes we, we feel like we can force things and that's not good because that can bring out more stress and increase cortisol in your body and you know something that comes up to my mind too is that you know in our population we are like we're in the pandemic of uh uh, fatty liver people and fatty liver has nothing to do with alcohol it's from um from basically eating um fatty food junk food uh being overweight and i have seen so like actually when i'm in surgery i can see the liver like i've seen the damage that the fatty liver looks like and you would think it's like an alcoholic liver. Liver should look, you know, like, like a nice purple brown color. And when you see a fatty liver, it is mind blowing how much damage there is to the liver. And so that's like another reason to do liver cleanses is because of all the the junk, all the food we put in, the the stuff that's not good for us. And you know, I've been there, done that. And you know, here you are. Sometimes it's hard to lose weight. And we feel, especially as women, we feel like, like, what am I doing wrong? And it could just be your liver, your liver backed up with all this junk that it just, it cannot function. And you're not going to lose weight if your liver is not uh, functioning properly. I actually, speaking of the weight, uh, when I did the seven day cleanse, I lost 15 pounds. I was like, where the heck did this come from? Like, it, it was kind of shocking. I, a lot of it was like, you know, just inflammation. I could feel like even my hands and my face, I could feel like just a lot of the inflammation going down. But I mean, 15 pounds is quite a bit. <laughs> so, 
Yeah. Well, it's definitely more intense. Like, like when I do just straight water fast, I would say, I mean, I don't know how to compare it uh, because this was a seven day enzyme intestine liver cleanse, but you know, like I said, I didn't feel hungry. That's number one. So I do feel like it, in that sense was easier for someone that's never done like a three day water fast for the healing purposes, autophagy and all that stuff. I feel like the, the intestine and uh, liver cleanse was easier in a sense because you didn't have that hunger. You had the food and I do feel like more stuff was released. Like with the fasting, if you don't open up your intestine, intestines for the toxins to come out, you can feel so, so terribly bad. And, you know, people think it's like a keto flu. It's the toxins because if you got stuff sitting in, in your intestines for three days and then you got more toxins coming up from your liver, they don't have a, a, a way to come out because that stuff is still sitting in your intestines. So I think it's so important to make sure that your your bowels are clean or cleaned out so you can release the other stuff coming out of your body, especially during the fast, because you can get really, really kind of sick and feel just terrible. And I do think that the mental aspect doing the, the enzyme cleanse was a lot easier. Like I felt mentally, I felt better, you know, like on the fast, like on day five, on day five, usually I feel good, but day three, I mean, it is, it's tough. So maybe there, there's like a connection between like, you know, the dopamine receptors and how it connects with your gut. I don't know. There's something to it, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to doing more of them and just kind of comparing each phase to seeing like how my body does. Um, I, I do think that the first one is usually a little bit tougher when you're starting off because you are releasing a lot more stuff from a years of buildup, but yeah, I, I wish I've done this sooner I'm, I'm glad that i found this uh this cleanse because it's it's truly transformational in so many different ways and you know people say that you know your body's made to clean itself and do what it's supposed to do yeah in a perfect environment when we don't have all the toxic food toxic environment like lotions and makeup that we use we're constant emf like everything around us it's is preventing our body from functioning the way it's supposed to. So we don't help our body expel some of the toxins and truly put it back in that, you know, that neutral, good feeling. It's it's not going to do, do it on its own. And we've seen it in our population where, you know, over 70% of Americans are overweight, obese. We have more, more diseases than we, preventable diseases like diabetes, hypertension, obesity, uh, all that stuff, sleep apnea. It's, it's just shocking. I don't know. That was like a prolonged answer to what you asked me, but I get on a tangent sometimes because I see all this stuff uh, at work and it's just a lot of the stuff could be prevented so easily with just maybe doing a cleanse every so often and just tuning into our body. But also, you know, if you do a cleanse like once, even once a year, and then you go back to eating junk, that's really, it's not really helping you. Yes, it might help for like a week or two, but we really have to be conscious about putting better fuel in our body and not constantly backing it up with all the junk and and, and stuff that we intake with the the group uh i i really i have reached out to the telegram group it's been a great support for me as well because i did have questions you're like you read through the instructions you're like oh thank i got it i think i got it but then you get to a point you're like wait a minute what about this? And it's it's been very helpful to even go and search on there and just kind of see different people's experiences and just connecting with different people and knowing that, okay, these symptoms are normal um, and other people are experiencing that as well. So they've been super, super, super helpful. Um, and so I would encourage anyone that is doing the, the fast or the, the enzyme cleanse to get on the Telegram or the Facebook group because it has been a total game changer for me as well.
I really thank you, Maddie, that. for having me. It's my pleasure, and I look forward to completing all these paths and doing more, and just sharing my my experiences with with people and 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 you. I mean, anyone that has any questions, feel free to message me because I I love this. This is what lights me up. It's when I feel good and I can share that information with others. It's what makes it all about, you know, sharing is, you know, caring is sharing, sharing is caring, whatever. <laughs> it's 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 just the beauty of it. It's connecting with people that are wanting to feel better. And and you will feel better when you get on, on board with doing this stuff. So thank you for having me. And I look forward to more conversations.